Welcome back to Como Yarden. Um, we're starting to get different types of produce coming on and ripening. So last time you we were here, the garden was covered in chickweed and red dead nettle, and it looked like crazy weediness. Those two plants particularly were able to cycle nutrients throughout the winter and were super easy to incorporate into the gardening beds once we started planting. So all I had to do was take a rake and rake everything into a pile and I just mounded it in the center of the beds and, and it was able to compost in place. If it's not causing us a problem, generally we don't bother removing the plants that we haven't invited into the garden. Most of the plants that show up are providing some sort of service, whether it is fixing nutrients into the soil or providing shade for the roots of the plants and the soil that slows evaporation. So sometimes we strategically plant low ground cover, such as oregano or the nasturtiums, and we let them be the shade providing plants for the, the taller plants, such as the tomatoes and peppers. And that means we have to water less often. And if we haven't strategically planted a ground cover, plant, we will just cut back whatever is growing there and either lay it on the soil to have it as green mulch and or we just let it grow until we need the space for something else. Lemon balm is amazing for soil fertility. The areas around the root systems just harbor so much microbial life. It's better than any compost or manure you could ever add to your soil as far as fertility is concerned. This grouping of plants is a good example of companion planting. Generally speaking, tomatoes, peppers, and basil are very good companion plants for one another because they have mutually beneficial properties when planted in proximity to one another. Uh, we like to let some of our herbs bloom, even though it might make the herb turn bitter. It provides much nectar for all of these pollinators. We have bees of all sizes. It's pretty fascinating. I had no idea there were so many types. You know, the insects, they need to eat too, so I don't know. It's kind of a nice arrangement. They do a little plant damage, but they don't usually cost the plant its life, so we let them partake in the bounty of the garden so that we can benefit from the pollination services they provide. 